You asked me earlier, why did I get an editor? This is exactly the reason why. What's up, how's it going? Welcome back to the Matt Moore YouTube channel where we talk about editing and fun things. Are you gonna slow that down <laughs> in editing? How do you keep up with him? I'm here with Michael Downey of Downey Live, the YouTube channel. Hello. Michael makes videos about exploring places and people that make the world work and the joys of finding an adventure no matter where you are in the world. In January of 2021, Mike finally decided to hire an editor, me. Why did you eventually decide to hire an editor? So that was something that was really difficult for me to let go of, but it is one of the most time consuming segments of the entire process. And I wanna be planning, or off traveling or filming the next project. But part two, because the editor, like yourself, brings a lot of skill and talent in areas that I don't have. Graphics, effects, ups the level of production of the videos. I could see that you were passionate about YouTube and you brought a lot of other skills to the video editing world that I don't have. I thought it worked really well. And I said, okay, let's give it a go. It's a business decision for me to see Downey Live grow as a brand. <laughs> I'm actually, Really excited about this. So I have an idea of what you're doing, but I'm really excited to see the breakdown and get into how he makes the magic happen. This right, is right. you revealing yourself. Yeah, this is you being naked to me. I know, showing the timeline. I wanna show you the process that goes into Downey Live video. As we go along the video that goes through the route that used to have train cars running through Vancouver, BC, Canada in the mid to late 1900s. With Mike guiding us through this adventure as we take the same path that trains once took in the present day. Okay, that's the Burrard Street Bridge. Is that it? Okay, let's go check it out. Right off the bat, I really like that establishing shot with the cool text. It just sets the tone right. with that kind of fantastical music. Feels like we're going on an adventure. Right. A quest. You shot this wanting to have like a... Searching for some like buried treasure almost. Hey Matt, how's it going? I want the very beginning of the video to be like we're discovering it. Like, what, is this it? And then I'm gonna get to the end of it and be like, this is it! And then I'll do the intro, but I kinda wanna like build it up a little bit. You know what I mean? The other thing I like is you have the bomb drop right at the beginning. As soon as someone clicks that video, <laughs> boom, there's some sort of yeah, yeah. feeling to it. Because without it. Yeah, yeah. It's without it, like... it's flat. <laughs> I think this is it. I this filmed those drone shots and I'm pretty sure when I was there, those clouds were not moving that fast. There weren't any clouds. Oh. That's the shot you gave me. Oh, so it just had a really white it overcast super, sky. Yeah, so really all I had to do was take out the whites. Okay, are you happy with the way I filmed that intro? Would you like more still shots of me walking past? Like you said, get like a footstep shot? Yeah. It would be cool to have like a shot on the ground that could represent the rails. Right. But you missed it. Ah, uh, um, so the viewers brought in on a secret that I've missed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good storytelling technique. That could have been cool. I used to do everything myself. I was against presets for a yeah. good while. I want to know how to do it instead of letting someone else just like do it for me. Because then if there's an issue with a preset. How do you fix it? Yeah, I want to know how to fix it. But now you know your time is valuable. Yeah. You just gotta get it done. The thing you have to remember is that the audience doesn't know what you didn't do. They, they can only see what you've put on. Yeah. And if you go, oh, I could have done this better by doing this, they don't know that right. unless you give it to them. Mm -hmm. So if you don't and they're still happy, it's, it's good enough. We'd all love to make it perfect, uh, but there are deadlines and we have to keep doing this week after week after week. Yeah. So sometimes a time saver. Mm -hmm on an angle across False Creek to here underneath the Burrard Street Bridge where the old car barn was. And then from here, they would go to their final destination of Steveston. It was the old Marpole line. Okay. I feel it's like there's a lot to unpack in that last that 10 time. seconds. So not only do you have a map there, mm -hmm. the map is moving, it's panning out. Yeah, yeah. You've got that subtle eye-catching movement to mm -hmm. keep someone visually attracted to it. Which you taught me. Oh good. Yeah. Every shot should be moving in some way. Yeah. And so I use that in editing. So even that is why you added that film grain speckle. There's mm -hmm. like something yeah, going. But not overbearing. Nothing like crazy patterns and no. stuff. And then you have not just a yellow line fading in, you have it drawing itself yeah. on a moving image. Yeah. That's all visually stimulating. Starting with where we were, fast zoom out to mm -hmm. give them the bigger picture, and so then you give them the simplified version, which is an entirely different map that you've overlaid yeah, yeah. and made it fit seamlessly. Easy stuff. Get rid of them. Not only 
is it a, a location change yeah. but there's a music change right away yeah to give that feeling of this is a new scene mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can hear the music coming in before the change it's not on the beat you want it to have a nice flow to it you don't yeah. want to be like oh was, we're in a new scene now like, right you want them to almost draw them in to yeah, the next yeah. Scene. Again with the music. Mm -hmm. I like to use a lot of like fun, upbeat music. You don't pick music that would be deemed as cool or what you would typically listen to. It's yeah, more yeah. for the vibe of the video. I mean, I listen to this type of music. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because you're a fun guy. Yeah, it's really just music that makes me feel good. Yeah. If I really love dubstep or, <laughs> or like lo-fi hip hop. Lo-fi hip hop is a very easy genre to just throw in there for every edit, but it doesn't add any emotion to it. That's key. Yeah. The music you choose has an emotion to it. Yeah. To tell the viewer how we should feel at the moment. Lo-fi hip-hop, people use it to study or fall asleep to. It has its place, but not in the scene. No. Okay, we're off the Arbutus Greenway for a second. A little detour because I heard about this and I needed to see it. Okay, should we talk about the map? This, I would say, is one of the elements in the video that got the most comments. Really? People really love seeing my smiling face move along the map. I'm the face on camera the entire time. I'm the person that the viewers are engaging with and like following along with. If this is just a dot, the, the connection isn't there. Right, By using right. my face again as an element of, yeah. oh, there he is, here we go. <laughs> Ah, there are mile markers along the way. I feel like I, I, like, I like small details a lot, but yeah. when I introduce a new song or like I don't have you speaking, yeah. I like to fill that silence with yeah. music. If I'm talking, the music is in the background. And if I yeah. stop talking and the music doesn't come up, yeah. it's still just background music. Yeah. But there's nothing in the foreground. Yeah, you absolutely. pick a moment that is gonna hit powerfully mm -hmm. and then drop it back down for me to talk again. Tell us how you find the moments to make these songs line up. Because this, this is a conscious decision that you make all the time to stop a song. In this case, it's the same song. Yeah. So why not just let it continue on? So I, I brought it forward just like a beat, I think. Yeah. I wanted the... the music to come down yeah. right as I start speaking. And most people would have gone, oh, if I need an extra beat, I'll just make that montage a beat longer but you right. said, no, the montage needs to be this length yeah. and you make the music adapt to it. Which is really just like less than a second. Yeah. So I could have left it, but I was looking for just things just to make it shorter, I think. There you go. And there's the tracks. Which way am I supposed to go? I love that effect that you added into the music. It's not some like record scratch, yeah, yeah. the pacing of it rather than yeah. a sudden yeah. Oh, there's the sign. It's over being abrupt. Mm -hmm. It matches your energy. Yeah. As you're on this like pathway, you're riding. You're like, I'm feeling good. I'm just crossing the hill. Like it's smooth sailing from here. And then you see a sign that ends and you're like, ends? Wait, what? And then like you're, you're slowing down. Everything's breaking down. What's yeah, gone yeah. wrong? So I actually, I put it into Adobe Audition. Oh, so it. you use multiple programs mm -hmm. to add effects or segments, Photoshop for the maps. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you realized as well that we can't clearly see the sign. It's kind yeah. of in the distance. And so you recreated the sign mm -hmm. and put it on screen for us to see. Again, it's that visual representation to simplify things for the viewer. Yeah. You don't want to make the viewer work. You want to give them all the info yeah. and just let them enjoy. And this is River Parkway where I'm wow. actually Wow. Again, upping that level of production and it's slightly opaque. Which really isn't that much more effort than drawing a yellow line. Like it's just taking a screenshot, putting it into Photoshop, making a selection, adding the paint bucket tool of just a yellow line, Boom. export the PNG. In fact, you didn't even have to do that. We could have just shown down the road. It hasn't been a whole lot that's been engaging for the last minute. Yeah. And all of a sudden you hit with this. If anyone uh -huh. were scrolling and looking, they go, oh, here's something important. That yellow right. line really brings someone back into it. it. It's only for a second and a half, maybe. But that will really re-spark someone's interest in the video. Here for sunset. Terminator ride. Terminator. Think Terminator. Terminator. I have a lot in common with those bunnies I right didn't now. envision you lasering rabbits to death. <laughs> but yeah. I thought, okay, I'll do something here funny. I kind of just, I'll leave that. Matt can 
do something with it. If you had done nothing, if yeah. it's just like Terminator and then cuts to bunnies, yeah. it's a very awkward, it's odd weird. scene. You took that and <laughs> completed the joke. Oh, also, there's a lot more that went into this than you probably realized. Tell me. I wanted him to disappear. Ah. But it's only, it's a frame. It's one frame. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I went through that extent. Wow, you really masked him out. Yeah, I masked him out. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to go to the extent to, to make it look nice. It's learning for future. Yeah, now I, you know. I know. So as we are as we are coming towards the end of the journey, yeah. you can feel the music is a little bit more epic, mm -hmm. like more like the arrival. Yeah, yeah. It's building to the expected finale. I like to make the, the ending of the video feel grand and feel like yeah. We're coming to the end of a, a big adventure, a big journey. Oh, yeah. Skip the yeah, Skillshare yeah. segment. Oh, I did, go back. I, I, I did just, do it. <laughs> yeah, he always sneaks these Easter eggs into the videos. I and do. I love to try and spot them first. There's uh -huh. a couple I've missed, a couple yeah, yeah. I've seen and loved. It's edgy to put it into the ad because yeah. I have to send this for approval to Skillshare. Right, right. And what will they think of seeing this <laughs> yeah. sort of hidden joke? Uh -huh. But it's funny and it could yeah. make it more interesting for the viewers to be willing to stick around to watch the ads. And that's what I was thinking is that I want to have like an Easter egg in like every ad read you do that could build that like yeah. expectation for someone to, to want to watch the ad read that's and great. look for the the Easter egg so they can comment about it or whatever. Ah, uh, I don't think anyone commented that. No. <laughs> no one, I didn't no one see saw that. It. It's too quick. If you plan on running a YouTube channel and having a life, I live with my partner, my girlfriend. Taking 8 to 16 to 20 hours of work off my plate means I get to spend evenings and weekends with Nicole. And I don't. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's encouraged a little bit more of a life balance rather than the 100% grind all week. And that that can really save you from burnout and any other. If you're an editor, don't think of yourself as sitting at home working on someone else's project. You are working on your own career and your YouTuber that is giving you all the content yeah. should value you as much as you value you. Yeah, we got a good working relationship going. If you're editing like a video that you're not too enthused about, think of it as you are editing and wanting to make the best product for your client, but also try to make just the best video for yourself so that you can pitch that to someone that you want to work for and show off your skills, show off your, your talent. So that you can move on to someone that you'd like to work with rather yeah. than this person you don't. Yeah. Yeah. If you're new here, this is Matt Mort magician, editing extraordinaire. I'm very thankful for having him in my life and I think uh, he'll bring a lot to your life as well. So oh welcome boy. to the Matt Moore channel. What an endorsement. Yeah. I'm gonna leave the video that we just watched in the description if you wanna watch it and let me know what you do to improve it. Uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow him on Twitter. If you love talking about creator economy stuff as much as I do, send me a tweet and we'll talk about it all day. You need a, you need a tagline. Like, I know, my name's Matt Moore. This is Mike Downey. And that's a cut. I hate that line. I hate it, but... You hate it? Yeah. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.